Okay. Good morning. Oh. <laughs> Good morning, America. Okay, that didn't count. Anyway. Right. Hey, it does starting. count. Let's go. Good morning. Good morning, America. Welcome to the Asian All-American Podcast. I am your host, Jasmine Kong, with my co-host, Jay Cool. And today we have a very special guest, Kia Sit. Hey. She is a first <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> she is a first generation. Cambodian American that immigrated here in 1982, and she is a very accomplished woman currently pursuing a master's degree in healthcare administration. And on the other hand, she is a wife with one child. She is also a proud resident of Oakland, California. We are super excited to have her here as our first guest. In fact, she is my auntie, and in the Khmer language, I call her Minkia. Welcome, Minkia. How are you? I'm good. No bias here with you guys inviting me. <laughs> Man, so how's everything at the house? Everything's good. You know, we're all trying to handle this sheltering in place as well as we can. You know, it feels like Groundhog Day every day, but we're doing the best that we can, right? With the circumstances um, that we're all in. Well, before we move forward, I would like to mention that Kia and I are currently working on a family project that dives into our family experience from Cambodia to America during the Khmer Rouge regime. Um, she will providing a different and valuable experience to our discussion today. In the Asian culture and, and also the Latino culture, we tend to still uh, either live with or we're still around our grandparents, like you said, right? So we have to be extremely careful, right? And mindful right. of who we get in contact with, how we move and all that. And segue into what's going on right now with the Black Lives Movement, with the unfortunate death of George Floyd. I mean, uh, it's with <laughs> with unemployment, like the way it is, it's kind of easy to be out there and. I'm not, you should be out there if you can, mm -hmm. but yeah. uh, I was telling Jasmine, like, uh, a hard thing is that we don't see enough Asians out there, but understanding where our situation, whether we take care of our grandmother or whatever, that's our situation. So yeah. if anyone is out there wondering why you don't see enough Asians out there, that's probably why. You know, things happen out in the real world, and, and I think what we saw was, a, a tr you know, it was it was really sad and disheartening, right? I mean, you go out and, and the last thing on your mind is that you're gonna be um, treated in the way that George Floyd was treated, right? And, and you look to your brothers and sisters, you know, to um, reach out when, when you're asking for help. And, and it's really hard to watch. I mean, honestly, I couldn't watch the whole video because I knew, I knew what was coming. 